and welcome to my Swift tutorial for beginners, lesson three. So sometimes in Swift, you want to store lots of pieces of data, and you probably want to use lots of variables and constants, but that's not a great way to do it. So today, we'll be learning about arrays and how they can help you in your code. By the way, check out my latest app on the App Store, Perl Calculator. Now let's get into the video. probably going to ask is what is an array? So an array is basically just a variable that can store lots of values. So it can store more than one piece of data. So right here I have declared, pre-declared three variables and what we're going to do is we're going to try to put these three values and stick them into one array. To declare an array, you just have to write var, then your array name. I'll say my array, and then an equal sign, and then two square brackets. Inside your two square brackets, you will put all of the values that you want to store in your array. So I'll put one, two, and three. And you can put how many values you want, so you can put so many more. But right now I'm just gonna stick with one, two, and three. So that is our first array. Now let's learn how to print a specific piece of data inside our array, or access a specific piece of data inside our array. Right now I'm gonna try to print number one, or this number called one, I guess, um, right here on this line. To do that, I'll just write the print statement, and then inside these two parentheses, I'll just write my array name, then also two square brackets. And inside of these two square brackets, I will put the index of my number that I want to print out. An array index is basically a little address for each of your pieces of data inside your array. So every, every piece of data has an index. And indexes always start at zero. So in our case, number one, or this number, would have an index of zero. This number would have an index of one and this number would have an index of two. And if we had more, then the index would just increase. So if I wanted to print this number, then the number that I would insert into these two square brackets would be one. And if I wanted to print this number, then I would put zero into these two square brackets. So let's print this out and see what we have. And right here we have one. So that's what we want. And I just wanted to tell you guys that each of the pieces of data inside the array, they are called elements. Now onto our second to last thing, blank arrays. It's not really a term, but I just like to call it a blank array. What a blank array is, is it's basically just an array that does not have a value, but you can still store values inside of it. And sometimes you want to add values inside of your array after it's declared. So to do this, you just want to have your, just an array, and then replace these values inside of your array with a data type. And this data type, will be the data type of all of your, all of the values that will be stored inside your array. Oh, and I didn't tell you guys, one array can only hold values of one data type. So you can't just have an array that can store strings and int values. Xcode will give us an error. Okay, 
Now on to our final thing, changing array values. So what if I wanted to change a value or the value of one of the elements inside of my array? To do that, you will just have to type in your array name, and then you'll type in two square brackets and then the index that the index of the element that you want to change. In my case, I'll just want to change this number one. So I'll type in zero as the index. And then I'll just type in an equal sign. And after that, I will type in the value that I want my element inside of my array to be changed to. So if I want to change this number one to a 56, And now I have changed my array's elements value. So if I print this, then let's just copy this. And we will run it. And now we have our changed array printed out. And that's about it for this video. Before you move on, I just wanted to give you a quick overview of what we've learned in this video. First, we learned about arrays and how they can hold multiple values. We also learned about indexes and elements in the array. Finally, we learned about how to change array values. Thanks for watching and please share this video if it was useful for you. Please like, Comment and subscribe and see you in lesson four.